Oh my gosh. That is freaking awesome. I'm getting the Cayman, guys. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How is your day going? It's so nice to see your guys' beautiful faces. If you guys like unboxing a bunch of snakes, you're gonna love this video because I have two shipments, and you know, it is like Christmas here when I am unboxing stuff. I get so excited. Even though the majority of the stuff is still gonna be for sale, I still get super excited. But before we get started, I wanna ask you one thing. Do me a favor and go down, check in the description, or I have a pinned comment that gives you a link to my Snake Bites video. Reptiles in the news. This is the second episode. Go ahead ahead and check it out. First watch the vlog, then go over there and check it out and let me know what you guys think. What do you say we just jump right into this first shipment? Oh, and by the way, later in this vlog, I'm actually getting a couple animals for the reptile zoo, but uh, I kind of forgot to tell Lori I was getting them. So I'm going to go ahead and show them to her and see what she thinks. I think she's going to actually be pretty excited about it or very upset. Regardless, let's go ahead and see what's in this first bag. Ooh, let, what? Ooh. Wow, these are pretty. I, I forgot even what this shipment was gonna be, so I'm excited because as I'm opening up each box, it's kind of like, oh, kind of a gift here. Look at how beautiful these guys are. Of course, these are pastel genetic stripes. Take a look at how amazing those are. And again, the pastel is a co-dominant and the genetic stripe is a recessive mutation, but there's a lot of variability in this clutch. I mean, take a look at the difference between these two animals here. This is almost patternless, and this has some really goofy, cool pattern to it. These are awesome. I mean, what a way to start the unboxing. Okay, bag number two. Oh, these are beautiful too. Let's take a look at these guys here. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is freaking awesome. Of course, a lot of you people will say, oh, that looks almost like a banana pinstripe or some bananas. But believe it or not, this is a recessive mutation called Ultramel. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I freaking love these animals. It's been a while since I've had an Ultra Mel. I mean, probably at least eight or nine years. So the fact that he sent me some more, wow, I am blown away. I mean, just take a look at this pinstripe Ultra Mel right here. Ooh, doggy, that one is gorgeous. All right, next bag, guys. Whoo, look at these. Oh, wow. There's some variety in here. Again, just yesterday, I opened up a bunch of pie balls, right? Of course, there's some beautiful pies in this shipment, too. I mean, take a look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, my gosh. I love that little pattern right there. That thing is cool. But what's really cool is that there's actually a little pastel pie in here, too. You can certainly see the little bit of fading and a little bit of difference with the pastel pie as opposed to the pie. I tell you what, I friggin' love pie ball ball python. Last bag. Oh, these are really nice too. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and these are really fresh. I mean, take a look at some of these actually shed in the bag itself. And of course, these are a bunch of albino ball pythons, but not all of them are just albino. That one right there is actually an Enchi albino. And you guys know that we had some Enchi albinos just a couple weeks ago that I showed you guys. But ho oh, doggy, that is such an awesome thing. I mean, just all these albinos and albino Enchis. I mean, this was an absolutely amazing shipment. But believe it or not, this is only shipment one of two. And the other shipment, has a lot more animals in it. Hey, uh, so guys, uh, Eric, uh, you guys just had this argument. What's the deal? Mary, you said he couldn't get a caiman, and I heard this morning, what, what, what's going on? You're she getting a caiman? She is the sweetest, bestest fiance ever. I'm getting a caiman, guys. Oh it's happening. God. What kind is it? it it's called a uh, smooth front the smooth caiman. Front. Oh, those yes. are the ones that get really big. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. No, smooth fronts are actually the second smallest caiman, so they definitely stay a little bit small. Uh, they're known for being really mean, which is, is great. Which it's punk rock, are. man. It's no, going to be no. awesome. No, it'll be completely <laughs> fine, but they are absolutely amazing. So when are you getting it? Uh, I'm going to be picking it up this Saturday. So the oh. guy lives on the west side of the state. I'm going to meet him out there. Oh, and a really nice God. guy and everything says it's pretty tame. Mary, so how did this happen? I don't know. I'm not that excited. <laughs> <laughs> I told her she she, you know, no, she doesn't have to be a bully. No, but the deal was that he's not supposed to buy any more animals, or else if he does, I'm gonna be like, get rid of the caiman. I have heard this. They've been with me like a year, and I've heard that at least a hundred times. No more animals. This sounds like me and Lori. What's going on? Yeah, it's it's, it's, po it's a poisonous a relationship. Influence. Yeah, oh, it really is. Right, well, it good, really is. Good luck on the caiman. I'll be posting some pictures soon, hopefully. All right. <laughs> Okay, and the next shipment is obviously a much bigger box here. There's actually two styrofoams in here, so I just have to open it up, get the two styrofoams out, and we can start opening up and seeing what kind of snakes are in this shipment. Again, I know this had a lot of snakes in it, and trust me, these are all snakes, they're pretty heavy. Okay, 
Now we can get right into this, see what we got in this shipment. Okay, well, I'm kind of a little disappointed already to be honest with you guys. Uh, take a look, uh, there's nothing for me to throw. But okay, we'll open up snakes anyways. Let's see what's in this. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of stuff. And again, I'm gonna power through this pretty quick because it'll be a 25 minute unboxing just for this box if I don't power through it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you what we have really quick. I tell you, I'm so excited. I love getting baby snakes. And you know, we're hatching tons of stuff. We're getting stuff. I mean, what a great time of the year. These of course are just little black pastels. I mean, black pastels are just such a cool little mutation. It's a single mutation that is co-dominant. The super form is almost an all black ball python. I mean, look at how awesome those are and truth be told Lori is the one that ordered all this stuff so I'm not even really sure what's gonna be in here so it's kind of exciting for me to be honest with you oh what do we have here oh look at this this is nice these are just enchi ball pythons but they're really pretty enchi ball python take a look at some of the pattern of those guys that's awesome again another single codominant gene oh my gosh there are so many snakes Ooh, these are beautiful I love these it's been a while since we've had these ones oh my gosh oh I'm so excited about these take a look at these these are all albino black pastels and I got some of these last year from the same guy and the albinos of course are a recessive mutation the black pastel is much like the ones that we opened before but when you put the black pastel into albino you get the higher white animals just like these guys you know and the truth be told a lot of people that are just getting into snakes maybe they're getting a pet snake maybe they only have one or two animals oftentimes they can't afford something that's 200 300 400 dollars so we do move a lot of things even like these animals here which are, of course unbelievably beautiful but just see single gene pastel ball pythons. And this is a really great entry level mutation of a ball python because it's one of the most affordable of the ball python mutations that is. And this really was an animal that kind of started the whole thing. Kev McCurley over at Nerd Proust, the first pastels, kind of shot the ball python mutation game into a whole new atmosphere. And here's another great single gene entry level mutation ball python. And of course these guys would be cinnamon pastel ball pythons. And I gotta tell you a really quick story that's pretty interesting. We brought in one of the first cinnamon pastel ball pythons ever out of a place called Abonne Benin. And they actually sold it to us, believe it or not, as a purple headed ball python. I mean, there's no doubt that the heads on these guys are different colored than a normal ball python, but a purple headed ball python? Regardless, this was before you could send pictures. So I bought it, I got it. I still thought it was absolutely incredible, but it certainly didn't have a purple head. And just another big old swatch of pastel ball python. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know why I always call a bunch of snakes a swatch. I mean, do you guys have any idea what a bunch of snakes are? I should probably look that up because I always just call them a swatch. Regardless, that concludes the first box of two boxes in this shipment. A lot of people have been asking about updates on the maternal ball python incubation. As you can see, she's still kind of wrapped around her egg. She's definitely gotten looser, but you can see that this egg down here is definitely bad. This one's starting to discolor a little bit, and I can see that there's a baby in here, and then these two look pretty normal here. But we're at day 75, which is definitely getting long. I think I'm only going to give them one or two more days, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut these eggs and see if there's they're still babies in it. This may be a good reason why people don't maternal incubate because we did everything right and it doesn't appear that we're having a tremendous amount of luck. But who knows, maybe there's gonna be still three good babies out of four eggs. I'll let you guys know within a couple days. All right, I gotta show you something that I got. What did you get? These are cool. You're gonna like these. I think you're gonna absolutely love them. I'm gonna them. like them? Yeah, you're gonna like these ones. Look at this. Look at that, it's a strawberry pineapple Pac-Man frog. Look at that, isn't that thing beautiful? Oh my God, oh my God. What do you think? <laughs> that thing is so fat. <laughs> <laughs> it is fat, it is fat. And then there's, I actually got two, there's a, 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 that's a female. This is this is what they call an apricot Pac-Man frog. This is a male. How do you tell? It looks like dirty. Well, when you clean it up, <laughs> it looks better. And, and by the way, uh, hey, hey, Eric. Yeah. Uh, can you come over here for a second? Yeah. Eric, this is Eric. Don't is kill one. me, Lori. <laughs> Eric is the one that brought these in for the zoo. So, you all right with it then? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like frog legs for dinner tonight. <laughs> all right, they're kind of cool. But, I love uh, this one, this strawberry yeah, no, that, pineapple that female. is cool. That thing is awesome. I mean, they're both awesome, but that that thing is super cool, man. You know what's you know what's going to be awesome when we actually have the cages in the zoo 
for the animals to go in. That's what Mom told us. I was actually just saying today, I got really excited with how close we are that all of the stuff in the front, we're going to actually have an office slash break yeah, area. Yeah, that's going to be nice. <laughs> yeah, It's been yeah. a long time yeah. We just keep piling more animals up all over the place. We definitely need that zoo open soon. The 30th, the install is on the 30th. If you guys are coming to help, don't come on the 20th. Don't go on the 27th. Come on the 30th. We need a lot of people to unload trucks, so get there on the 30th. So, uh, all right, cool. Yeah. Good job, Eric. Sweet. All right, Heck yeah. Laura, get those set up for me, all right? Yeah. Moving on to the second box. Let's hope there's some paper in here that I can throw. I don't know why, it just makes me feel better about getting shipments. No paper, what do you know? But we'll get into some snakes instead. Ooh, and the first bag has some really pretty ones in it for sure. These are gonna be great to have back in stock because I tell you what, it doesn't matter how many of these guys I produce, we sell every single one of them like crazy. And of course, that's banana ball python. Just look at how beautiful those snakes are. And the fact that these are relatively affordable single gene animals and look so incredible, that's what makes them so darn popular. Ooh, man, these guys are unbelievable. Take a look. Look at those. Those are banana black pastels. Oh my gosh, those are ridiculous. I always tell you that I love cinnamon and I love black pastel when it comes to banana and I think you know why now. Look at the purple on those things. I mean, that that is stunning. There's just one snake in this bag, but I actually love this animal right here. And of course, this is a super vanilla. The vanilla is a co-dominant mutation and the super is just really much brighter. It always has that really faded out head. I mean, that is a cool animal. And the thing that's nice about the super vanillas is sometimes when you produce vanilla stuff, it's a little bit hard to tell if it's vanilla are just a pretty normal. When you breed it to a super, every single baby is a vanilla. That way there's no guessing involved. Oh, I like these guys too. I just hatched some of these guys out yesterday. I showed you some of these. And of course, these are pastel calicos. Oh my gosh, a couple of these are so crazy. I mean, take a look at that one right there. Ooh, doggy. I love the fact that pastel and calico mix so well together. As a matter of fact, really pastel and calico and spider calico are really my favorite of the calico or sugar genes for that matter. These guys are stunning. And here's another single gene animal that's a great entry level morph ball python. And of course these are spider ball pythons. Now there is a little bit of controversy when it comes to spiders because sometimes they have a little bit of a wobble, which is a neurological glitch that kind of goes along with the spider gene. Some people actually don't like working with spiders because of that slight neurological glitch. But as long as you get really good bloodlines, it's typically a really minor thing. It's not until you get to a lot of inbreeding that you get a lot of the loopiness. You can see these guys seem to be completely perfect. And then the last bag here, oh it's a little bit of a mixed bag for you guys. This one here, of course, is another banana black pastel. This one's actually an albino, but it's a pastel albino. And finally, we have an Enchi banana right here. So there it is, guys. There was some truly amazing animals in both of those shipments. Let me know which ones you guys think are absolutely amazing. The majority of these guys are going to be on the website within the next week or two. We're going to set them up, make sure they eat, real do well, and then they'll be up on the website. So if there's an animal that you're like, oh my god, I really need that, make sure to check out bhbreptiles.com. You'll definitely catch these eyes on the site. So uh, that concludes our unboxing for the day. Back over at the Reptarium, because I don't have any cages to install or anything like that, I'm just showing you guys other silly stuff that I'm excited about. I just got these in-ceiling speakers that I can put up in the ceiling so that when you guys come, there'll be nice ambient music or when we're watching TV or movies, we'll have like nice surround sound. Got a really cool receiver here that can do all kinds of stuff, a Blu-ray player. I mean, we are getting things set as far as the electronics side. Everything else is pretty much set. We're gonna do a little bit more cleanup and then it's just kind of a waiting game but with that said I am actually going to get out of here I'm going to get another tattoo from Bob Tyrell tonight I'm not going to film it because it's a little bit boring but I will show you guys the results tomorrow and with that said I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here and wish you guys a good day evening night whenever you happen to be watching your support means the world to me and I truly do love you guys so much do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn the post notification on make a comment down below because I love reading about you guys always be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. You know.